how about some canine therapy? Prepare to get booked. Jack. Hi, Jack. Jack is about four. He's mostly husky, but he seems to have a bit of shepherd. Uh... Very beautiful. Oh. He, he talks occasionally, but he doesn't like... Because he, I have treats really and I'm verbal. holding them. That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's into the house, sometimes we'll go over and have a little chat. He has a little uh, stuffed animal that he has kept as his buddy for about three years now. He takes him out to play in the snow, and he's ripped up all kinds of other stuff, but he not his never buddy. Hurts him. That's adorable. And sometimes he, you know, like he'll go and open the back door because uh, he's scratching at the back door, and then he'll go off and get his buddy, and then bring come back and expect you to open the door again. You know? <laughs> You're like, didn't you know I needed to play with my buddy? Tired. TV retired? <laughs> Just living life? I look at him being retired. Yes, retirement. It's Piper. She'll call Hi, Piper. She's seven. Seven years old? Yeah. She snores like a pig. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. She likes to bark at the mailman. It's not really a trick. Bark at the mailman? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The mailman hates her. <laughs> uh, I think she'd like to be a police officer. A police officer. I think so, yeah. Abide to the law. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Piper. His name is Duke. I think Duke is maybe now about four or five. He loves cookies. And because I'm just making friends with him, I tend to give him a few more cookies than I would normally give my dog. But we're making friends. I don't blame you. Yeah. He is very friendly, very playful, Hi, and <laughs> hey, you are playful, aren't you? He's so obedient. He's really, really fun on the leash. He loves to run around with other dogs. Uh, when I first walked him, which was about a couple of months ago, I took him for a walk. And he didn't, you know, he was very polite. Didn't show me as much affection as this time when I came to see him. And he went, oh, yeah, I like walking with her. What would you be? Maybe he'd follow in his father's father, his master's footsteps. <laughs> his dad's, a, his master is a lawyer. He, he's closest to the dad in the family. He's his, definitely the dad's dog. Sometimes dogs are really cute. They're too far away. Come back. This is Sam. Sam is four. Hi, Sam. Sam is, we think, a husky mix, and he loves food. <laughs> yeah, I can see that food motivated. Eh? He's very food motivated, yeah. Sit. Sammy, sit. Good boy. Sit. His quirk. Uh, he's very much a talker. He, uh, he likes to sing. He likes to howl. He has an obsession with waterfowl, of course, living right on the on the river. Any opportunity, not so much in the winter. He seems to understand that, you know, he can't go on the ice. But yeah. Uh, yeah, he loves to swim and he loves to go after ducks. I think he'd be a therapist of some sort. A therapist? Yeah, and he, he's like a psychologist. Seems to really gravitate towards people in uh, wheelchairs. Oh. Uh, the disabled. Yeah. Children. Um, he is a rescue, and so he was raised in a farm where a child was in a wheelchair. So he ra really gravitates towards all people of all ages in wheelchairs. If I had more time, I'd love for him to be a therapy dog. Uh, just interviewed four dogs, and I forgot to turn on my microphone. Well, here's a voiceover. This beautiful dog here is Alfie, and he's seven years old. And Alfie absolutely loves to get his head rubbed. If Alfie had a human job, he would be a therapist and most likely a therapy dog also. This is Sirius Black and he's three years old. Sirius Black really, really loves to sing, but especially when people are singing happy birthday, he just can't resist singing along with them. Sirius Black also loves bones and when he's given a bone, he actually gets so overwhelmed that he starts to cry and he doesn't really know what to do with it. He's just so moved by his bone. 
If Sirius Black was a human, he would most likely be an artist. This is Dexter and he's three years old. Dexter's quirk is that he's really a lap dog to the point where when he's riding in the car, he absolutely needs to sit on his owner's lap. If Dexter was a human, he would most likely be a Walmart reader. So moved by his bones. 